All right, so this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. It is Friday, so it's time for another awesome book review. This is a book, an inspiring book and a famous book, but even though it's so inspiring and famous, you probably haven't read it yet. It's one of those books that I've seen on, uh, you know, the five books you need to read before you die sort of thing. And so the book is written by Booker T. Washington, and the book is called, got it on my, there we go, you can't really see it because of the glare, maybe you can see it this way, it's called Up From Slavery, maybe you can see it there, Up From Slavery by an autobiography of book, by Booker T. Washington, obviously it's about a guy who used to be a slave with a title like Up From Slavery, and if you don't know who Booker T. is, maybe you recognize the name but you don't recognize exactly what he's done or anything like that, I want you to understand that this is a guy that has overcome some huge overwhelming odds. Obviously, you come up from a slave and become as famous as Booker T has, then obviously you have to come uh, overcome some great odds. Obviously, even though he was no longer a slave at one point, there was still so much racial prejudice against him, so the odds were stacked against him. He had no money, but he, he wanted to get educated. And I want you to imagine this determination. I want you to imagine, imagine having no money. You don't even know where your next meal is really going to come from, but you want to get educated. And so um, you go, you, you hear of this college and you don't have enough money for tuition. You don't even have money, have enough money for the train fare to get there, but you get started anyway. And so you get your way, uh, get, get on your way there. You don't even know if you're going to get um, admitted into the college. And even if you do, like I said, you don't even know if you have enough money to get the tuition. And that's kind of like where the book starts. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, foreground or, or backstory to it, but that's, that's where you just see this gentleman's determination. And he does so many more things than get educated, you know, despite not having enough money to do so. He actually, I don't want to give too much away, but at the end of his career, at the end of his life, he is a sought after speaker in all parts of the world. As a matter of fact, not only in his general area in the South, you know, where he grew up and where he had that influence. But it, it uh, people came from all over the world just to see Booker T. talk. So if you want to read an uplifting story about someone that overcame some overwhelming odds and maybe use that inspiration um, to allow it to drive you in your life, then I highly recommend Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. Um, Man, it was suggested to me so many years ago, and I always procrastinate it. You know, we always have these books that are on our list to read, and I finally got a chance to read it. It's one of those books, it's a short read, it's one of those books that are hard to put down, uh, simply because it's just an awesome, awesome story, it's inspirational, and it will allow you to take some action, it will inspire you to take action. So I trust you got some great value out of this. What I invite you to do is this, like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, go over to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. You put your name and email in, you're going to get an awesome audio on growing your business. And remember this, every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. We only got to do two things about it. We got to recognize those miracles, and then, of course, we got to accept them. In the meantime, spread good vibes. All right, take care, and create a great day.